in. Be humble and construct the new world. Today's topic is the service of giving happiness. And today's Avyak signal is for a tree, it is said, the fuller it is, the more it will bow down. So just as the bow down of the tree serve everyone in the same way, humble souls will do the service of giving everyone happiness wherever they go and whatever they wherever they go whatever they do they will be bestowers of happiness to the extent that you have self-respect to that extent you also have humility let it not be i have become elevated and the others are still juniors no let there not be the feeling of dislike for them now we will be listening to Moini Didi. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Baba, I'm a chumkum. So, Baba. Baba is teaching us every day for humility with different examples. So we are listening to these teachings every day and we are paying attention every day during home, doing our homework. So it's very visible that we all are seeing some difference or uh, transformation within. So no arrogance no insult, only self-respect. And every day Baba is giving us different self-respect points. So for tomorrow, the homework that we have is Baba giving us the example of a tree. That the more the tree is full, so first of all is like tree has a lot of leaves, then flower, then fruit, so what happened with that? The tree starts bowing down. So the more the tree is bowed down, so the more the tree is serving. So think about this. When travelers are going around, they if they are tired, what they look for? A tree which is so full, has a lot of shade and they can sit under that tree. If somebody is hang hungry, they look for a tree if they can find a fruit from there. So for that, Baba is saying that so the tree serves how the tree is serving by giving happiness to others. So in English, we call it happiness, but in Hindi, we have different words like Sukh. Sukh is more deep than happiness. Sorrow is uh, like inside pain or some wound is there, something is burning inside. So sorrow is also not good. It's not a good experience. So that we kept keep emerging all the time, but we have to give happiness. And what you have to remember is that Baba is bestower of happiness and remover of sorrows. Baba, Baba is removing everyone's sorrow and giving happiness to everyone. So what we have to do, we have to create such an environment where we are coming into interaction with each other as that we are giving happiness to everyone, each other. So if we give happiness to others and if somebody is receiving that happiness, what will they experience? They will just say, thank you, thank you. And um, so when they receive happiness, they give you blessings. So what happens sometimes people, even though they don't want to do it intentionally, so if they give sorrow to others, so but, but, but Baba is teaching us, don't give sorrow, don't take sorrow. I don't even have to take sorrow. So uh, 
my thoughts are not should be like that that i'm taking even sorrow uh, what i remember for myself like i always feel that i never experienced any sorrow let's uh, for a, for instance if somebody say something but i never take that sorrow meaning i have not accepted it so if i take it i'll create the thought also so i don't even take any sorrow so baba is giving the example like give happiness like tree so those the souls who give happiness to others so wherever those souls will go they give happiness all the time so baba is saying so to that to the extent that you have self respect to that extent you also have humility so it should not be like that i have become so elevated and others are still juniors no you should not have those feelings of dislike for anyone i i i trust that nobody has any feeling for this of dislike for anyone but what happens sometimes when we practice this detachment and being loving just keep spreading your pure vibrations that others should feel happiness from you so baba is saying that don't create any such thought any vibration which is of dislike so what i have seen in my life like uh nobody does it intentionally to give sorrow or take sorrow but uh, but the solution is do mansa seva serve through mind so that heals you heals you and heals others so to give happiness you don't have to do a lot but let's say if you have lot of thoughts just keep sending them good wishes pure vibrations and don't create any waste thought for anyone if you have something just give it to baba it's drama everybody it's just settling their accounts so so many scenes will come so many situations will come but that's the time when you have to use the knowledge that i have i don't have to take sorrow i just have to give happiness to everyone and what example you can keep in front of you of a tree of a tree which is full giving fruits to everyone like what Uh, we look at a tree and there are a lot of mangoes on the tree uh, for since few days we have uh, blueberries like the those jamuns and um, in india we have these this fruit a lot so kids what they do they just throw stone and um, uh, they used to spread a sheet underneath under the tree and collect Uh, all the fruit so uh, we are throwing stone to trees but tree is giving us fruit so tree never give you stone back give you fruit so that's how you should be so tomorrow we will reflect on this and we'll try to imbibe that just give happiness to everyone om shanti Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Now we'll revise Evak Murli.
ओम ओम शांति अव्यक्त एंड द डेट ऑफ द मुरली इज एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ऑल वर्चुअस वेन इन द अव्यक्त स्टेज वॉट डे इज इट फॉर द ग्रुप टूडे today the theoretical paper has been completed and now you are going to give the practical paper now what special task will this group perform compared to other groups how many airs will you create and in how much time and you will bring them here you will make them many souls heirs in short time will you not you have made many promises you hold the function of making promises in order to fulfill all the promises you make simply remember one principle what is that so somebody said to die alive so baba says do you have to die alive again and again bhakta da constantly has every hope in every soul however those who fulfill these hopes reveal themselves number wise this is why this group has to remember one main promise what is the essence of the entire course out of all the pictures which picture would you show everyone in a practical way through which you can reveal baba what is the essence of all the teachings that you are seen to be angels while performing every action while sitting walking uh, sleeping so there should be this uniqueness and spirituality in every action there should not be anything worldly in any of your actions or sanskars have you brought such a transformation the aim of elevated effort maker is also special their thinking doing and speaking all are equal they would not say oh i was thinking that i shouldn't do this but i did it no their thinking doing and speaking would be equal and similar to that of father so have you become such an elevated effort maker acha so this group becomes as powerful and spread as much as in all direction to the same extent as it is large the shaktis can spread the sound of cries of victory don't be subservient of your sanskars don't be subservient of anyone's love or subservient to atmosphere don't you understand don't let such words even in your thoughts that what can i do i'm compelled emerge from your it, these words should not emerge from your lips even if any individual or atmosphere compels you you must not be compelled but instead become strong don't do you understand this so there should not be this complaint again so did you complain about your effort before you began the bhakti what was that it was that because influenced by bad company because you were weak are you going to uh, go from here having finished these complaints none of you will be able to go into bad company what if maya tries to make you her companion in godly way just be careful and remember the promises you have made remember the slogan you speak uh, that we are one we will belong to one and we will follow the directions of one always keep this firm all the time maya will come in such a godly way that you will not even be able to recognize it are you going from here having imbibed the powers to discern always keep this with you now we shall see the result don't show a temporary result but show the perfect result of all time this group has made promises and maintained courage but what happen if maya compels you to break 
these promises. You have made many good promises, but what will you do if someone compels you? Otherwise, if you yourself are compelled by that, how will you be able to battle? Do you know what is truth? No matter what emerges in your thought, not to hide that even in your thoughts is called the truth. If you make an effort and experience success, then even if you are defeated, telling Baba clearly the news of both the situations is the truth. Only those who speak the truth will be able to fulfill the promise. Acha Om Shanti.